What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside that trunk? I'ma get 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 you drunk, get you love drunk off my hump. That blanket, my crew neck, my hump, 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 my Everybody in the stands are taking off their clothes and their undergarments. No, guys, please put those back on. We don't want to see that. Or maybe we do. Guys, for the first time in I'm Literally Screaming history, I have a guest who has returned because we just have so much chemistry among us. And that person is Fanita. Today, we're going to be talking about a lot of things. We're going to break out into song, talk about our weirdest hookups, our weirdest dates. We do a compatibility test to see how compatible we are because, again, the sexual chemistry here is insane. We're also going to play a game where we swipe left or right on cute guys or just, I don't know, ugly men, you name it. We're going to just swipe left or right for each other. And if you want to see that happening, just stay, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey, girl. I'm so happy to be here. I can't get enough of you. Um, Spencer, I'm literally in love with you. I'm literally... Uh all the time, I just think about like, how horny I am for I you. I literally seen you literally like last week, and we talked for like this exact amount of a lot of times we're gonna talk today. Yeah, and I was like, no, I can't get enough. I feel like that was the foreplay. Yeah, no, that was like a little like kinky session. Like today, yeah. we're just gonna get right into we're it. We're gonna f raw. Yeah, raw. No condom. Okay. Well, are you on prep? Yeah. Perfect. How do you know about that? I'm very involved in the gay community. <laughs> Am I on prep? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, somebody told me one time, never mind, I don't even know if I can say it. Say it. I was an um <laughs> I was an F word hag. Oh yeah, probably. A fag hag, if you guys didn't get that. Fag hag. That's what they say, because like I like love gay men and I'm always like, I love drag queens, I love like RuPaul's drag race, and I just know. I've never I watched like... RuPaul's drag race. It's the most homophobic the thing about me. Are you me. actually gay? I'm that's what I'm saying. I've never watched it. Is it because like you hate like feminine gay men? No, I am feminine gay man. Like Are you? You I'm... taught me though. We're not allowed to talk about that right now. I'm sorry. I thought we were gonna keep that under wraps. You can't What's just... the topic of this episode? I don't like there's so much going on. Um <laughs> You can't tell people that I topped you. It was one time. No, but it was so good. I know. But then when you flipped and then you topped me. And then I was eating his ass. Eating, eating his, his ass. ass. Eating his ass. It's time for a little segment <laughs> we like to call my weekend recap, where I essentially talk to my guest. And in this case, it's Fanita about the shit storm that was my life over the weekend. I'm going to let Fanita go first. Oh, uh, my weekend was fantastic. I didn't any yeah. I went to Black on the Block again, something that is for black people that I know you don't care about cuz you don't care about black people. Uh, um and then yesterday was like Juneteenth. Shout out to all my blacks. Love y'all, man. Uh and yeah, I was chilling, man. Vibing looking sexy as f like usual. Tell me what happened. Lay your head on my lap cuz this is cheaper than better help. Oh, uh, oh my gosh, you're so right. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. If BetterHelp ever wants to reach out and have me do Please, them, I need like, a therapist. Literally. Like, I, I desperately need a therapist. Like, actually. No, you can have them as a therapist. I'll gladly read an ad for you guys. I would, I would do that as well. Like, I'll lie about therapy. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Love mental health. I don't know. Uh, um, but please, like, I really need a black therapist. So, last night, I thought it would be actually... Okay, so this is... This is a, not a lot for me, but it was, like, kind of like a stepping stone for mm -hmm. me. Um, you can step on me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, horny. Yeah. I want you to step on me though. I'm into degradation. Can I like? Can I? You want me like getting like six inch stilettos and like step on your balls? Okay, no, that sounds painful. Oh, then what do you want me to like step on your back? Like crack it? Yeah, you can step on me, punch me, slap me, <gasps> spank me, spit on me. You know, like <laughs> you know something weird, huh? Like the thought of punching you actually arouses me for real. Like yeah. not like a part of the bit. I actually like heard the other day, like actually someone, <laughs> someone actually tagged me in something on Twitter <laughs> and they said, I don't know why, but Spencer has the most punchable face I've ever seen. I think punching you would literally like bring me joy. Okay. Well, remind me to just like keep a good like five feet of distance between us or just but, like, I, it's like, I feel like that would like, I don't know. You're just so sexy, and I feel like you like you have such like a soft, supple face. Like really? that, like thought of like hurting it kind of makes me hard. Do you really think that I have a soft, supple face? Yes, you have like really soft, like really pretty features. 
That is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. I know it is. I know you don't get no compliments. Thank you. Look how you act. Thank you. Yeah, that's so true. Oh, but this weekend, um, this uh -huh. is actually like yesterday. It wasn't really like weekend, but I'm still mm -hmm. going to count it as the weekend. Um, oh my gosh, what did I do this weekend? Um, I... Oh, Guys, every single time I come on here, I'm always talking about a new guy that I saw and I Ooh, met. But it's let me sit like, up. My ears are perked. Okay. So I met this guy. I'm not going to say his name. Let's call I, him Joseph. We'll call him Joe. Yeah. Okay. So I ended up going out with my friends. Mm -hmm. Zaya's here. So okay. like I went out with Zaya. She's Love actually that. right over there. Hi, Zaya. Hi, Zaya. Love you. <laughs> that was Zaya. Yeah. Um, so we went to like the TikTok Pride event. We saw. Why was I not invited to that, by the way? I mean, I'm a strong ally. I just feel like it was just literally like the whole LGBTQ plus community there. Yeah, but I feel like that's a little discriminatory because when we had Black History Month, y'all was inviting white people. So yeah, where were you? You deserve to be there. Exactly. It was the first time that like I'd seen like ballroom dance in person. I've always wanted to go to ballroom, but I don't know where you even go to like see it. The, it's not the ballroom is mainly like, like more so in New York. Yeah. Like here, it's not really like like they don't have it. I think as frequently, but. We were there, and then we ended up going out to beaches. Mm -hmm. um, I love, love beaches. beaches. Right. So we get into beaches. I go upstairs, and I actually saw one of my friends was in, like, the restricted section. Mm -hmm. And I waved, and I was like, hey. And it was my friend Matt. Um, and Matt was like, oh, get in here. So I get in there, and all of a sudden, I start talking to this guy. His name was Joe. And Joe, you can ask everybody there. Fine as hell? Oh, I thought he was so hot. Okay, but um, he would not stop staring at me. You actually, have good taste, so I believe that he was actually sexy. I was sitting and talking to Zaya, and while me and Zaya were like talking, Zaya would like be like, "He's looking at you. He's looking at you now." I would have been like, and at one point he walks up to me, mm -hmm. and he was like, "You want to dance?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." And we're like dancing. I'm like so close to his face. I thought he was gonna like kiss me and make out mm -hmm. with me. I'm so close to his face. I feel his breath on my face. And what does it smell like? Uh huh? What does his breath smell like? I don't really remember. I probably Were you drunk? A little. Okay. Um, and then I like sit down and all of a sudden my friend Matt walks up to me and goes, so are you and Joe like the thing? And I was like, I don't know. Like I thought he was really cute. And he was like, that's crazy because he actually came out because he's really interested in one of my girlfriends. And I was like, wait, what? And he was like, yeah, like Joe is straight. And I was like, no, he's not. And he was like, yeah, like we all think that like he's a little fruity. Yeah. But like <laughs> we all collectively agree that he's yeah. a little zesty. And we were and they were like, um, and then my friend Matt, he was like, but like we feel like you kind of just proved it. And I was like, hell yeah, I did. And then I got his number because like, why not? Like I'm that bitch. Mm -hmm. Cause he was like, Oh, I really like your jacket. And I was like, You want the link to it? And he was like, Yeah, sure. And I was like, Oh, then you're gonna have to ask for my number then. So I put it in his phone. I'm so smooth. Especially that when I'm a like, That would have, I'm not gonna lie, that would have had me sucking your dick that night. Oh, okay. Anyways. So then like what happened? Did he text you? Yeah, no, he was texting me back and forth. I haven't texted him in a few days or not a few days, like two, but I have a reason for not texting him yesterday. Why? Um, I took an edible last night for the Love. first time in a very long time because the first you, time, if you guys don't recall, I took an edible. It was laced with PCP and I thought the FBI was contacting me through a light bulb in my room. That was you on the edible. Oh my God. I thought you were like falling asleep. I thought you were going to be like, bitch, you're so <laughs> boring. No, then I, I would have did that. Oh, okay. Um, but I ended up having like an existential crisis last night mm -hmm. because my high ass thought it would be a really good idea to like sit on my phone in my room and literally watch alien documentaries while high off of an edible and I'm literally sitting in my room I actually if I felt like a sleep paralysis demon had taken over my body I could not move I was like staring at my ceiling because you know like it's so easy to like sit here and be like oh yeah we're a speck of dust in the cosmos but when you, but you think like, about yeah, it yeah when you think about it for real it's actually terrifying it's terrifying and then now with like everything going on with like the conference that happened last week about Can I ask UAPs you a I'm yeah. sorry was you an alien um okay like let's say who's somebody that you found attractive like a celebrity. Um, who is a celebrity I find attractive? Like Channing <laughs> T Cough, cough. Why are you coughing? Oh, <laughs> Fanita. No, no, not even has to be me. Okay, anyways, that's perfect though because I'm very sexy and everybody's in love with me and wants to have sexual relations with me. Yeah. Let's say an alien comes down and like they look like me but like they got a tentacle dick. You still f***ing it? I mean, I'm not going to discriminate. But it's just like, what is that? Is that tentacle? Like, my whole thing is like, is it radioactive? Like, after I take it, am I now, like, am I now susceptible <laughs> I, to being pregnant? Like, do wait. I now have radiation poisoning? I worry about you. Why? That's would just, you say no? I'm not. Yes, I would say no. Why? Because then, like, what if you get pregnant and have, like, an alien dick baby? 
okay, then that is the start of... And, like, also, like, what if... Like, you know how, like, you can't get pregnant, but, like, what if you f***ing alien you can and then, like, you have to, like, shit the baby out of your butt and stuff? Okay, but, like, that would be the start of, like, an intergalactic peace treaty in my brain. Like, I am now giving birth to a child. You are, like, the United Nations of, like, space. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, your whole is, like, the United Nations. Yeah, as long as the baby's still in there. Like, your whole, like, actually hosts like where humans and because your hole is so wide and so big your holes actually host the meetings like everybody from the u.s and then all the aliens they all just like live in your hole and like host the meeting in your hole because your hole is so f***ing big and worn out i would like to end this episode <laughs> and tell all of you to have an amazing rest of your day thank did, you guys did you just say that my hole is stretched and used um absolutely <laughs> well it was after me and you had like our three round let me sesh. tell you all something about Big Bussy Spence. Uh, um, one thing about him, he's not a quitter. He's not a spitter, but he's a choker and he's a taker. I mean, I could go on for hours. And it was 12 anxious. Okay, I thought we weren't going to talk about this. You like, brought it up. I know, you're so right. But yeah, me and Fini, uh, guys, should we tell them about it? Yeah, we should. So me and Fanita, we're not dating, but we're definitely like FWB, friends with mm -hmm. benefits. And it's just And if like, you remember in the last time I was on Spencer's podcast, he didn't want people to know. Yeah, I just like I just like playing hard to get, you know? Yeah, but like after that podcast episode, like that hurt my feelings that he denied me on camera, but it's because he's gay to the public and he didn't want to admit that he was in love with a big voluptuous woman. Yeah, and then I went to Fanita's and Fanita did have like a huge sex swing. Mm -hmm. And that's and when then I, I found out Spencer could put his legs behind his head. Yeah, no, I can. I put them right behind my head and mm -hmm. then like you stretched me out. And like we've kind of had this good thing going for at least like what, six months? Yeah. Yeah. But we just felt like you guys should know because yeah, like I was kind of living a lot. Yeah, we can't keep you guys in the dark anymore. Mm -hmm. It's just not fair to he you. He loves being in the dark. So do you. I'm sorry. Dark escaping places. Now let's take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsors today at HelloFresh. Guys, are you sick of visiting the grocery store multiple times per week? Is it just me or am I constantly throwing out basil and cilantro that I literally just bought? With HelloFresh, you can get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. This summer, HelloFresh is here to take the work out of eating well, helping you reach your goals with delicious, calorie smart and protein smart lunch and dinner options. Plus vegan recipes too. There's really no comparison. No matter what your lifestyle is, HelloFresh delivers delicious recipes with pre-portioned ingredients that make it easy to get cooking quick. You can even swap proteins and sides to craft recipes just how you like them. As a busy content creator, I have so many goals to hit each day. I need to hit the gym, work on my TikToks, film this amazing podcast, edit, and by the time I'm done, I basically just need to eat immediately. With HelloFresh, I love how fast and convenient it is to whip up something truly restaurant worthy. Plus, I'm saving so much money each week that I used to spend on takeout. I love inviting my bestie over and creating a five-star meal with HelloFresh's mouthwatering dinner options. And did I mention their snack board? It has pretzel bites, spiced bar nuts, and hot honey peach jam, to name a few. Literally perfect for binging the Vampire Diaries. Now run, don't walk. Go to HelloFresh.com slash I'mScreaming16 and use code I'mScreaming16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash I'mScreaming16 with my code I'mScreaming16 for 16 free meals. Come experience why HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. Well, now that we're on the topic and we did tell you guys that me and Finita are friends with benefits, mm -hmm. It's only fitting if we do a little compatibility test. Just so all of you guys know how this game works, me and Fanita, if you're only listening right now, we have whiteboards in front of us and we are going to have questions asked to either of us back and forth. So for example, Fanita's gonna get asked a question and I'm gonna write down what I think her answer will be, vice versa, mm -hmm. and we're gonna see how compatible vice we are. Vice versa, vice versa. What is Spencer's dream romantic first date? Am I gonna write a telenovela? That's probably long as shit. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, so for my answer, I know that you're used to being hidden and being nothing but a grinder swipe. So I said to be actually taken out in public. So I put <laughs> so I put a long car ride with stargazing. <laughs> That's that's practically you love being in secret. Why is it stargazing? Y'all can't go to dinner or some shit. Like, come on, be shown off. No, I like that's like my whole thing is like I'd rather get to know someone as a friend first. So like I practically said what he said. So 
you actually just called me a slut. Mm, you and are. <laughs> this was my answer. Okay. Long car ride with stargazing. That's just like, okay, over one, whatever. Well, yeah. This one's for Finita. What are you making them for a breakfast in bed? I like this game. I put omelet with bacon, pancakes, waffles, or you would order out from IHOP. Okay, I said sausage, eggs, and toast, and maybe bacon. Okay, I get that one. Because like the omelet does have sausage. omelet with bacon, maybe like half a point. I feel like half a point. I feel like I have, like there's eggs and bacon, and I said maybe bacon. So, oh my god. But okay. yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a chef, so I'm not gonna do pancakes and and, and waffles and shit. Okay, this is not, so it's this is not the goddamn Four Seasons. This is my apartment in Silver Lake. Zero point five. Yeah. Oh. Okay. What's Spencer's drink of choice going out? Oh, oh we talked about that. This. We talked about it last week. I feel like if you me on this. Uh, I said tequila Red Bull. You're so right. It's tequila sugar free Red Bull. Yay! Okay, we're gonna do the same question, but it's for Finita. What's Finita's drink of choice? I have two. Oh, then because I know because yep. you told me that you go for a vodka Red Bull or a vodka Cran. Vodka Red Bull. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mai Tags. Like if I go to dinner, oh I get Mai yeah. Tai. But the vodka Red Bull is correct. What is Spencer's <laughs> biggest turn on? I said Daddy's. Okay, that's true. But I also wrote. Men who look like they'd bully me in middle school. You, we really are Kurt Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to kiss that man in the locker room. The one that punched you in the face. Yeah, maybe, yeah. So what's Vanita's biggest turn on? I said money, big dick, or deep voice. It's actually kissing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I love kissing. It's my favorite thing ever. I know. It's just like the bad bitch mentality yeah. that like, you just have. And I'm just like, oh. I love like when they like suck my tongue and like. Wait, wait, wait. Don't say anything. I actually have. I have one. I have one. I have one. No. An answer that you didn't mention. Okay. Because I actually know that this is true. <laughs> Toe sucking. Yes, that is true. That Give is me my on. point. Yeah, I think he does deserve one. I do love getting my toe sucked. But I haven't got my toes sucked in a while because they look crusty as f right now. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Can you give me money for a pedicure? Mm, how much is a pedicure? I don't know, like 50, 60 bucks. Mm, yeah, sure. Thanks. Okay, what is Spencer's love language? I said physical touch and quality time. I put quality time and words of affirmation. <laughs> I was close. Mm hmm. I think I did was like half a point. That's, that's definitely half. What is Fanita's biggest ick slash turn off? I said smells bad or bad breath. Oh, that's good, but I said broke. Oh, Lazy. broke, man. Yeah. Damn. Can we maybe do one more? Yeah. Redemption arc. Like a sex one? No. Yes. Yeah, mm. we want a sex one. You want a sex one? Yeah. What's my favorite position? Favorite position? <gasps> okay, this is the final round is you have to write it about the other person and then you both like reveal it. Okay. Me and Fanita are both writing this down. I'm writing down Fanita's favorite positions in bed and Fanita is writing down mine. Okay. Okay. I'll go first. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say Spencer's is missionary with legs in the air, specifically his legs on the person's shoulders, and he's getting deeper. And then I said doggy. That's not fair because I literally told you about that on the last <laughs> no, episode. So are you mad? I got it right. I listened to you, babe. I said missionary or doggy in the mirror. I've never had sex in the mirror, but doggy's correct. But uh, see, we might not know a lot about each other, but in we terms know we of know like, each other sexually. Yeah, that's for damn that, sure. And that's how you know that we are compatible friends with benefits. Mm -hmm. We don't need to know everything about each other; just the things that count, yep. like positions, sex, size, width, depth, and your hole is deep. Yeah, I'm literally creaming. All right, guys, we're back from the compatibility test. It's clear that me and Finita are sexually compatible. Not so sure about emotionally. We're However, sexually compatible nymphos. And what? I said we're sexually compatible nymphos. A nymphomaniac? Yeah. Don't they like having <laughs> sex with dead bodies? No, that's a uh, um, necro. Oh. Necromaniac. Then what's necrophilia that? is the act of having sex with a dead body. That is so nymphomaniac nasty. is somebody that really loves sex, kind of like a sex addict. Oh, okay. Because I'm smart and know things. You are, yeah. Well, speaking of necromaniacs, I know mm. that would be a very big. <laughs> <laughs> I know that would be a very big turn off for me. You said turn off? Yeah. Hmm. Excuse me. I'm playing. I'm playing. Uh, thank God. <laughs> 
Um, now that we're on this topic, I of guess dead of bodies? like not dead bodies, but what like what's the topic list? Why is the next topic segueing from <laughs> dead bodies? Okay, like let me get to it. <laughs> okay, Damn, I'm just curious. So. I'd like to segue from necrophilia mm -hmm. straight into cringy dating moments. Because I know that if I was dating a guy and he told me that he was a necrophiliac, I would run away because that's scary. Um, I don't go on a lot of dates. Really? Yeah. I actually have never really been on a date. I've only, well, I don't really, really consider them dates, the ones I've been on. It's more like we meet up and I'm with my friends and they're just there. That's not a date. Yeah, no. A date's like a one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. I took you on a date. That's a lie. I have been on a date. I have I'll actually been on not many, but like a few. Have you ever been on a cringy date? <sighs> Didn't we just ask me that, and I just told you I haven't been on a fucking date. Well, yeah, Can but you like, listen to me for a change. I am listening. I'm always but you tired said, you of coming you like, on your goddamn show, but you, and you don't listen to shit that I say. I you said that you feel like you haven't ever been on one, but that doesn't mean I've never been on a date. And you know what? Every single time that we've been in this friends with benefit relationship for six months, we've had an issue with you opening your Ooh, large sorry. ears. You hear that, guys? It's an alarm. Oh, Got to pause for a quick sec. You know, he has to cut off a black woman speaking because he loves silencing black women. Um, I have a podcast coming out June 26th, Bottoms Up with Finita, and it's going to be better than any of this little garbage you've watched here. You haven't been on any cringy dates. Mm -mm. I have. Okay. Like real bad. Do tell. Um, well, there was this one guy that I went on a date with. I've talked about this before, but like he literally, I talked to him all night. That's all we did. It was great. We didn't kiss nothing. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, I'm really like vibing with you. And isn't it so refreshing when like nothing sexual happens and you really just like have a good conversation? Yeah. And we literally talked for hours and then when he dropped me off, he was like, I don't think I'm ever going to speak to you again. <laughs> Or, or wait, Spencer, said, why do people hate you so much? I don't know. He said, he said, wait, what did he say? He said, don't be surprised if you never like hear from me again or don't see me. And I was like, what is that supposed is to mean? Is he a fugitive? He was, like, he was like, I just like have the tendency to disappear on people I like. And I was like, okay, bitch, that wasn't a flex. Now I have the ick. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, um, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit thicker, but like I've had guys match me on dating apps just to call me fat. What? <laughs> yeah. Ew. Honestly, like I find it kind of funny because it's like, why i remember sometime i remember one time this guy like called me fat and was like you need to lose weight and i was like you need to see a fucking plastic surgeon now what are we gonna do and he was like oh no like you're really pretty though and i was like no mm. i want to like let's get into it let's tussle that's my problem is like you're really pretty though that what do you mean like <laughs> like you just call me a fat bitch it's like my whole thing is like saying like fat and pretty are like to me they can be synonymous they are yeah and it's like i agree you don't need to be a little bitch mm -hmm. on a dating app and be like, oh, you're fat, but you're pretty. No, they are the same thing. Yeah. Fat women are beautiful and yeah. you're just mad. And I'm sorry that you can't and get any bitches. And it's also like, it's like, that's just f***ing weird. Like, I don't know. Like, And I does he really expect to get some acting yeah, like that? Like, like all high and mighty? Like, I feel like because like when you're a bigger woman on a dating app, mm -hmm. they think that they can talk to you like just however they shoes or however they please because they think that like fat women don't have standards when in fact we do um i wouldn't spit on half of you guys if you're on fire and i wouldn't even throw my piss on you bitches um but yeah but when you're fat they think that they can just talk to you any kind of way and, like talk to you like super sexual or like super insulting and you're gonna be like oh my god like you you're giving me, me attention type shit or it's like oh my god like you call me a fat bitch like that makes me want to ride your dick now but it doesn't. You weirdos. That's actually really gross. Yeah. Men are so nasty. I mean, mm -hmm. I've literally had guys like swipe up on me on Hinge and say like, you're so annoying. Kill yourself. But that's like, they just hate me. How often do you see the others? Others? Mm, not regularly. When you cheat on me? Well, we'd have to be an item for it to be cheating. And again, Spencer, stop the madness. I don't. I can't be tied down. You know Spencer, this. Spencer, I don't like being let on. You're not being let on if I'm telling you to your face that I don't want to be in a relationship. You know, this is the same thing Kurt said to Mercedes. I'm sorry. Oh, is it because you should have given me a chance? <laughs> <laughs> you start breaking out in song. I feel like that's what I did with a Dun and Glee. I okay. bust the window <laughs> at your car. <laughs> She really did sing that song after she yeah, found she out Kurt did. was gay. She actually threw a rock in his yeah. windshield. And he was like, um, bitch, what? <laughs> he was like, girl, you couldn't tell I was girly pop. No, yeah, I'm very girly pop. But I know you said you haven't been on many dates. What about like hookups? Have you ever I've had like any up a lot of people? Okay. Do you have you had any weird experiences with like guys when hooking up? Like bad kisser, bad Yes, sex? I remember one time 
I was like, uh, I think I was like a sophomore in college. I had a guy come over to my apartment and like we were making out and he was like drooling into my mouth. Oh, it was, I'm about to vomit thinking about it. It was disgusting. I hate guys who just don't know how to kiss. Like, bro, and it's, it's also, I feel like it's so easy to it's kiss. It's so easy, but it's like, bi bitch, move your mouth. Yeah, That's move like, your mouth. Do. Like, some guys just like, they, they like suck in their lips or like they're just weird about it. Like, bitch, I'm sorry. How do you not know how to kiss? Also, I feel like a lot of people don't know how to kiss me in particular because I have big lips. When I kiss people that don't have as big as lips as me, they like try to suck my bottom lip like off of my jaw. Ew. Like, they suck it. Like, they like, always like suck my lip into their mouth and it's just like like i think if it's hot if you like bite my bottom lip yeah, yeah but it's not but even it's like, but not bite like i like a little yeah yeah yeah, yeah. not bit. like a little like not like i'm gonna bite maybe we should like lip. demonstrate for the audience like what it looks like or not <laughs> <laughs> commercial break <laughs> have you ever had a boy on a dating app slide and be like i want to you because i follow you on tiktok i have had a guy swipe up on me on tinder and say let me be the reason for your next daily scream and I said, oh, that's um, kind of smooth. I was like, um, are you into the, are you into the business of f fans? No. I mean, like, it's not, I mean, obviously there are people who are going to like know who I am mm -hmm. and I have no problem with that. Cause like, if you don't know me, that's fine. If you do, that's also fine. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I'd much rather someone want to know me For you. and be like, oh, Hey, I like your content, but like, I genuinely want to get to know you as a person aside mm -hmm. from what you post online. That would be cool. Yeah. You know? I the boy that knew me from TikTok. How was that? It was good. Really? Yeah. We met in the parking lot of a beach. Wait. Okay. So was <laughs> that on the beach? Did you guys do it on the beach or in the car? No, I went home and then he came over. Because mm. then very he smart. came over your body. Yeah. No, he had a really big dick. So we had to like take increments. I don't even actually know if he came the first time we had sex. The first? Wait, you, there were multiple times you guys hooked yeah. up? Yeah. That's he cool. became a little sneaky link for a little bit. Miss him. What happened? Mm -hmm. You got a girlfriend? No. You Probably just... not. I don't I actually. I haven't talked to him in like three months. Really? Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't. Big dicks hurt. Yeah, I was like literally like a single tear is about to fall. I was like, please can we stop? Yeah. No. Sometimes you just need to like tap. Like out. and like sometimes like usually I'm like a trooper and I like keep going, but like I couldn't. Sometimes it's just too <laughs> like, much. Like a single tear was like forming and it was gonna fall. Yeah. I just I can't I can't do that. What's the most awkward thing that's ever happened to you while having sex? I actually, for like the sake of like, because I have really bad luck. Um, but in during sex, I've never really done anything embarrassing. I mean, I mean, it probably would be more so like on the guys, like they talked like a bunch of shit and then came over and like nutted in like half a second type shit. That's oh my god. I hooked up with a porn star <gasps> and I thought that he was going to last so long. That's gonna rock your world. Yeah, I was like, okay, like, take the pill you take before you get on set. Mm -hmm. Like, let's do this. I thought we were going to have rounds. I thought it was going to be, like, the walls, also, the kitchen, like the bathroom. Also, I a lot of boys bathroom. cannot do rounds. He literally was finished. I didn't even know he finished. Like, he finished and then lied down. And I said, what? And he was like, <laughs> he was like, I'm done. And I said, what? And pardon me? I was like, excuse me, bitch? Ex excuse your pardon? Yeah, and then he hit me up the other day, and he was like, oh, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, nothing, want to hang? Because I was like, yeah, I want that dick again, whatever. Yeah. And then he was like, I can't, I have a partner now. Then why are you hitting me, me up, up, bitch? That's like, I don't know. Just, are some of y'all just like lonely? Some of them just are just so like, uh, I feel like some people just like want to conversate. Because yeah. like, if you have a partner, why the hell? Why are and you hitting me? And up if our now? only interaction is us having sex, why are you speaking to me? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm sorry again. If our again, our, if our only interaction is having sex, as you just said, let's keep it to just sex. Yeah, like don't like, hit me don't up. Ask like, me my favorite what are you color. like? It's like, what are you doing on Friday? Like, why do you care? Like, don't him. Don't ask me my favorite color. Don't ask me the state I was born in. Like, if we're gonna be sneaky links, keep it sneaky. Just keep it sneaky. Do you, you actually believe in like calling it sneaky links? Because I don't call it sneaky links. I no, just call I call it, it a hookup. Yeah, I call it a hookup or just like somebody that I'm f***ing. Like, yeah, I'm, I just call I'm like, like 24. I'm not doing nothing sneaky. Yeah, I'm just like, it's my friends with benefits. When you were younger, did you ever like sneak out your window to go like f somebody? No, I didn't have sex until I was 19. Give me your hand. That's good. I didn't have sex until I was 20. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I was a virgin for a hot minute. Yeah, and then I just like one day woke up and was like, oh, I want to f*** something. Yeah, I feel like after I had sex my first time and then I went through my breakup, I feel like I was so scared of it beforehand because I'd never mm -hmm. done it before. And then I realized that I was like good yeah. at it. And then yeah. I was like, okay, now I can actually hook up with guys. And you're like, you get more experience. But like for me, I felt like 
you you do think it's gonna be scary your first time like oh my god especially like a, as a girl like my hymen's gonna break and like it's gonna bleed i didn't bleed at all and then i went straight into like racking up the bodies i um i mean like i was just like so I've, yeah i actually i haven't like had sex with like that many people I've, i feel like i've talked about this before maybe uh, not with you but um i you know god mm -hmm. bestows gifts upon people and that is that are just, super wet bussy well like it's just like natural mm -hmm. like natural gifts like dick sucking or riding a dick or Listen, making out spencer i swear like on like me being serious i think the only talent i really have is sucking dick i'm really good at it i am too like and i feel like people just don't like i have a five star review on yelp you can google me bitch google Fanita head it'll come up really yes I believe you, and I will be looking that up later. <laughs> and if there isn't one, I will make a storefront for you, and I will give five stars to or you. Or like AffinityLegit.com. Uh, I don't have any videos to prove it, but the Yelp view review is still saying, oh, my God, she made me blast in under three seconds. Five stars. Sometimes I had like four and a half stars because like they were hating because yeah. they came so quick. Yeah. But usually it's, it's, it's like majority. I have at least 4.78 stars on Yelp. Mm. I know I suck dick good and I know I ride dick good because when I was in a relationship, my ex actually got mad at me because I told him that I was a virgin because I was and he was fully convinced that I was not because of how good I was at it. But I will say, um, you know, Zaya. Hi, Zaya. Zaya is my bestie and I will tell all of you this. I don't like me, her are close. And I told her like both the first time I slept over his house, I was like, Zaya. I think I'm going to suck his dick. And I was like, I need, I need advice. I need tips. And he Zaya called the pro. Zaya gave me all the tips and I'm not going to lie. I'm, <laughs> I did phenomenal. You were a so star good. student. Yeah, I was. Also again, no gag reflex. Like you want to see? Yeah. I'm going to need a paper towel after this. Three fingers. Oh yeah. I want that. Yeah. Like, no gag reflex. Um, <laughs> I don't really know where to go from here. Guys, if you don't, if you are only listening, I just shoved three fingers to the back and of my throat. And he did not gag. Hold on, I have to do it. But I have acrylics. You're good, yeah. We're the gag sisters. Because if there's one thing we'd never do, it's gag. But I am. But the one thing we'll make you do is be gagged. Also, we should get a van and like put like our faces on the side of it and just like drive around town giving head. Oh my gosh. And then we can literally end the faces on the van, put holes in it, and it'll be glory holes and we'll just drive oh, around. Oh my God. That actually sounds like a great idea. That is so smart, right? That's like, that's actually a good business idea. I actually idea. just found out about something that act, it will blow your mind. Um, I didn't know about this. Glory holes? No, bathhouses. I, yes. I Wait, just. Have you been to a Korean bathhouse? No. But I recently found out because some guy hit me up and was like, want to meet me at a bathhouse? And I was like, a bathhouse? What are you Wait, talking about? Wait a minute. Y'all having sex in the bathhouse? There are bathhouses specifically for gay guys to quite literally go there and have public sex and like massive orgies. I was thinking about like. And you need the, an ID to get into the bathhouse. I was thinking about like the Korean bathhouses where like, I, I heard those are like really nice and, and soothing. I actually wanted to like go to one. I didn't know. No, I'm were. talking about the bath. Like literally most bathhouses. Like if you see gay men there, it's like dick riding. Oop. Mm -hmm. So you want to go now, huh? That is one of my favorite categories. I can't lie. Yeah. I'll go with you. For real? Yeah. I'll put in a show for you too. You put on quite a show. Ooh, oh, really had that bushy going. Now, now it's time, time to go. go. Ooh, oh, you had all of them coming. Now, now it's quite a show. show. Very entertaining. entertaining. You came all over me now. Yeah, he came all over him now. Go on, I'll take a oh. bow. Hey, guys. <laughs> so as many of you may or may not have just heard, me and Fanita just sang off the top of our heads a cappella, a song that we sang about singing about dick uh -huh. um, and me writing it. Mm -hmm. However, that made us think, you know what would be really fun to do right now? Play a game. Game segue. Hi, everyone. We're back and I have a bowl. This bowl is full <laughs> of names and we're going to be playing a game called Swipe Left or Right. Essentially, the way the game works is I'm going to pull a name. And I'm going to read it. 
and Fanita is going to do the same thing. And then we're going to decide if we're going to swipe left or right, but for the other person. So it's like if I pulled out Channing Tatum, would I swipe right for Fanita or left for Fanita? I'll let you go first. Okay. And the lucky man is Leonardo DiCaprio present day as absolute swipe left for Spencer. Yeah. Absolutely. What that was do, easy. That what do I look like? Also, I'm not a minor, so yeah. he probably wouldn't even go for me. Um, Nate Jacobs, Euphoria. Absolute right for Finita. Yes. <laughs> I don't care what you hoes say. He's fine as shit. Like, I'm He's so sorry. He's so sexy. Yeah, like, I got he, you. he could... Pillsbury Doughboy. Swat. Well, swipe left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you better. I don't know. Maybe he's like squishing his ass as fat. Okay. I think Next the Pillsbury Doughboy will be a good bomb. The green M&M. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> it's not a thing. You're trying to make it a thing. It's not a thing. Okay. Swipe left. Thank you. Just kidding. Star. <laughs> <laughs> super, super like. Super swipe. Phoebe Bridgers. I don't know what she looks like. But I don't know. By your like mouth dropping open, I'm going to say you swipe, right? Yes. I love you, Phoebe. Cole Sprouse. Left. I would right. You Wait, what? No, not, Dylan. Dylan. Yeah. Cole is the one who had a cigarette in his mouth and then it got a whole bunch of people to quit smoking. It wasn't even an anti-smoking ad. He just looked <laughs> stupid doing it. Oh, he's the one that's like strange, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would do Dylan, not Cole. Yeah, I swipe. But they left. have the same DNA, so aren't they practically the same person? Mm. Mr. Shu from Glee. Who wouldn't f yeah, Mr. Like, from Glee? Like, come on, like, come on, let's be serious. Swipe like, right. Like he might be a little Yeah, weird. he's a creepy and yeah. he was weird for having kids over at his house after hours, but he was hot. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm not going to lie. If I was a student there and he invited me over, yeah. I would I'm going. I would come fully douche be prepared in a jock strap. Please don't stop the, please don't stop the, please don't stop the music. Dun, 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 music. Dun, 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 Mr. Shoe. Dun, 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 Titty bounce. Please don't stop the music. Mr. Shoe. Underage. In wait. his house. Please don't stop the high school student. Student, ah, 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 student, ah, 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 student, ah, ah, please, please don't stop the. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> okay, Barack Obama. Oh, absolute. I'm sorry. Right? Yeah, I would. <laughs> Mr. President. I would do. What is it, the 44th president? I don't know. I would give him. I don't. 44 I don't know. To call you could me. ask me who the second president was. Don't know. Ed Sheeran. Absolutely not. Ed, I'm so sorry, but we love your music, not your face. Swipe left. Um, yeah, maybe like if I had, maybe if I, okay. Actually, <laughs> maybe if I like didn't know what he looked like. Maybe if he had a bag over his head yeah, and like, I was blindfolded. But honestly, his body's really pale and he has those ugly tattoos. So I feel like even if I, even if I put the bag over his head, that wouldn't be enough. Will Smith, right? Yes. Why do I, why do you keep getting the good ones and I get like Ed Sheeran <laughs> and the Pillsbury Dope? <laughs> And then we're going to the last one, guys. I'm going to make this one suspenseful. Oh, this one's The Rock. The Rock can rock my world, girl. I know. The way I would sit on that boulder Oof. and ride like SpongeBob in that episode when he was a pioneer. And he was on the worm? No, when he was like on the boat, like when they were on the boulder when they were delivering pizza, oh. him and Squidward. Guys, a secret final one has just flown from Fanita from a mysterious figure who just walked in on the left side of the screen. Let us see who this person is. This is suspenseful. Noah Beck. Right. Noah, if you're listening, you know what it is. You're already out of breath. Like, you're so in <laughs> like, love with I him. I feel like we just went rounds. Like, hearing his name... Like, I feel like anytime I think about Noah Beck, I feel like I'm in Bridgerton. Because, you know, like, they'll, he like... He is so Bridgerton. He, he is... Like, you know, like, in Bridgerton, like, they'll walk up to each other and then, like, the girl will just, like, freeze and, like, you can tell, like, her pussy's, like, so... She's, like, tensing up, Like, yeah. that's what happens when I hear just his name. I've never... I've been in his presence once, but, like, hearing his name, I'm like, you are the bane of my existence, Noah. I will move the heavens and the earths for you. Hide away with me through the seas and over the stars. I've only ever met Noah Beck one time. I met him once and he told me that he loved me. And I said that I loved him too. And I said that maybe we should take things like out of the desert and into my heart. Speaking You're going to get a restraining order. Yeah, for sure. Anyways. Have any fun upcoming projects you want to talk about? I actually do have a fun upcoming project. I'm actually also on this network now, and I also have my own podcast called what? Bottoms Up with Fanita. What? Uh, you might see Spence on there. 
You Who might knows? see Noah Beck on there. Who knows? Who knows? But Noah is like confirmed. Like, guys, is tuning in. I promise you, he's on the podcast. Um, but that comes out June 26th on the Pass Your Bedtime YouTube channel. Otherwise, you can find me where you always find me playing with my pussy. I'm just playing on Instagram and TikTok as Fanita. Well, guys, if you don't know, you now can, you know. Well, now oh. you know. But if you don't know, my ad is Spenswa everywhere except Snapchat because some bitch stole my username. So on Snapchat, it's Spenswa with an M in the middle. If you did or did not know, new episodes release every Thursday on all audio streaming platforms. But if you want to see this happening live and in person, go to the Past Your Bedtime YouTube channel and subscribe, like, comment. Maybe comment some people you want to see on the show. If you also look in the description down below and you are watching this YouTube video right now, you can find a link to go get some awesome merch. You want a crew neck? Go get one. You want a hoodie? Go get one. A mug? A blanket? You name it. PJs? We got it. So if you would like to, go Blankies, get yourself some merch. Crew necks, sweaters, ride it. Blankets, crew necks, sweaters, ride it. Blankets, crew necks, sweaters, ride it. And what you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside that trunk? I'm gonna get 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 you drunk, get you love drunk off my hump. That blanket, my crew neck, my pussy, and that blanket, and my crew neck, and my pussy, my blanket, and my crew neck, check it out, my pussy, and my crew necks, and my blanket. Um, yeah. So again, guys, if you love me, which I hope you do, go like, subscribe, comment. If you don't, then that's sad because I love you guys so much. And like, I mean, show me some love. I show you guys some love. I love you guys so much. See, I just showed you some. So show me some. Go to the Past Your Bedtime YouTube channel and subscribe and watch all my videos there. I love you all so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.